In a late-night meeting of the North Korean ruling party's Central Military Commission, Kim Jong-un ordered frontline areas into a so-called quasi-war state and commanders to be ready to launch surprise attacks against the South. The general staff of the Korean People's Army sent an ultimatum to the South Korean puppet defense ministry saying the Korean People's Army would launch a strong military action unless South Korea stops broadcasting towards the north within 48 hours. These loudspeaker arrays at the border are the source of that so-called warfare. South Korea restarted broadcasts of propaganda nearly two weeks ago, for the first time in 11 years. It was in response to what happened earlier this month on the southern side of the demilitarized zone. South Korea says northern forces planted landmines that maimed two of its soldiers. Landmine explosions and shelling by North Korea are illegal and they are grave provocations. We urge North Korea to completely stop its reckless and hasty acts. Jungnyong village lies just a few kilometers south of the border. It's the closest civilian area to where South Korea says the first North Korean projectile was fired on Thursday. At one point, hundreds of people were told to leave their homes near the border. Only here is the advisory still in place. North Korea's provocation is likely to continue, so we are advising residents to stay in shelters. There are some who went out mostly to carry out their daily business, but we will advise them to come back to the shelter this evening. Inside, it's mainly the elderly and the young who've stayed behind. Living in this area, I've seen many drills and heard explosions, but this time the sound was louder and there was an announcement asking us to evacuate. Compared to the past, I'm more concerned. Seeking refuge in this shelter is starting to feel like a bit of an uncomfortable habit here. Just last year, a North Korean anti-aircraft shell fell right here. North Korea had been firing at propaganda-carrying balloons launched by South Korean activists. This time, residents have the added preoccupation of a deadline ticking down towards 5.30 p.m. local time on Saturday. South Korea says if a military strike follows, it will counterattack strongly.